Hello, everyone, and welcome to In the Shop. Wet time. Hey, everybody. It's In the Shop with Tom. Coming to you from a Monday night here in nice and warm Pennsylvania. Had what temperatures about 57 degrees here up in NEPA. Uh, another product I picked up last week. I needed an 18 gauge brad nailer and a pinch. Was at the Harbor Freight, saw this, thought, hmm, I gotta try this. Price point was like $28 or $29. Uh, another one, here's another fine example of a tool that may or may not help you. Now, just because it says, you know, it doesn't say Milwaukee on it, doesn't mean it's not bad. I'm ready to get into something else in Milwaukee a little later in another video. 18 gauge fasteners, 5 eighths to 2 inch. It's got a 100 nail magazine capacity. The working pressure range 70 to 120. I ran about 90, and the weight of this tool is 2.2 pounds. All right, enough with the bullshit. Comes with their own case, nice hard plastic case. I'm telling you guys, this little thing, you know. For, for the money, of course, you got to make sure you oil the product. Oil it. Always oil it. Oil the tip. I always oil the tip. Wipe it down. Make sure it's all oiled. Uh, I don't shoot real big nails. I usually shoot inch, inch and a quarter, five eight, something like that with these smaller, you know, 18 gauges. I have a 16 gauge that I shoot bigger nails with. Uh, I use this thing at home. Man, did some cabinet work. Did a bunch of different things with it. This thing worked flawless. Dead. I had zero issues with it. I have zero recommendations to anything they should do to it. I think this thing is A plus also. Now, are there better finishing guns out on the, out on the market? I'm sure there is. Some companies have great finishing guns. Some do not. Now, we get into the cordless finishing guns. Personally, I have a rigid, not happy with it right now. I might take it and throw it out the window. Just saying. So if anybody has a suggestion in the comments of what a good cordless trim nailer they have or what they suggest or their experiences with it please put that down below in the comment section all right i'm not gonna go into something else real quick Milwaukee stud tape measure this is from today's work now i'm gonna explain what happened here I didn't have my stud. I had my regular Milwaukee tape measure. The thing's a piece of garbage. I couldn't get it to go six feet stand out. I was measuring, I was up on a ladder measuring a piece of soffit, the length, for, actually for a piece of J channel. And it wouldn't even go, it wouldn't, that, it wouldn't even go six foot. It's, it's floppy. Here's another product. Somebody, you know, they took the old Milwaukee name stamper and went, boom, on the thing. Oh, Milwaukee, praise the Lord. The stud tape measure, it's a good tape measure. The other ones, just the regular ones, they're garbage. You should be throwing the hopper in the bin, as they say in England. Or maybe they say it up in Canada, I'm not sure. But that's my opinion. So if I had three, three thumbs, I'd give it three thumbs down. But so I'll just give it two. <whistles> Woo! No good. Ain't gonna do it. Don't like it. Like, subscribe, tell your friends, tell your neighbors, tell your college roommates. Peace! Love you guys.